All right, ornamental. Carry on. Let's go to the zoo first over here. This was I built the zoo before I built the other stuff. Okay. All right, There's guys. A little bit of parking. We got a parking lot. Look at this for the zoo it area. Took a, it took me a fair bit to be comfortable using the black with um, my little cobblestone. So I'm really only using it for parking areas. Okay. Breaking it up with these little walking paths so it's not one giant black spot. Yeah, no, I like this. I like for this. Now, then, yeah. yeah, no, this is great. This is really great. I like this. Man, I'm, I'm so excited to get to that side of the town. Okay, all right. Let's go to, to the zoo, guys. All right, so that was earlier. We were looking there. We went around. We took the other bridge. We came in. So if you come in with that car, you park in your parking spot. Then you come in, look at the entryway right here. Look, look how we get the two crocs right here. How cool is that? You know? Uh, I think as James work on the items and Dinko in general necessary turn, dev commands every time to refresh. Could be, could be, could be Cozy Joe. All right, look at this, guys, look at this view. Look again, again, this, this, this island, this place. Every time we stop somewhere, there's an amazing view, something to take in. And look at this. Look how we start low, and then as our eyes catch up, catch up to the what we're looking at, it's so high up. It's so different, so great. Love this. All right, so let's go official. Ah, uh, you're going in the exit. <laughs> what? This a middle. Okay, okay, okay. Oh yeah, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Over here's all the right. entrance. With, we, 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 we'll do it the way she wants to. We go entrance. There we, <laughs> we go. We have to buy our tickets over here. See, so you, you need to put, fences. you need to put another tin fence or something over I, here. I, so, I, yeah. so that yeah. way, yeah, people. I could have divided it better. <laughs> yeah. I'm just joking, but <laughs> I got in trouble. I went down the middle. You see that, guys? <laughs> okay, so entrance. So we go to the entrance. We take the little passage. I like this already because it's a different style of zoo, guys. All right, we buy our tickets. We got our stall, cash register, really nice. I like that she's in complimented all the new items that we got already so far. So this is really nice. Again, we come in. And then we're inside the zoo and look at this. Look at this welcoming area. Look at this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We got a zoo spelled out. Okay, we need to open the map. Guy, we got the zoo spelled in pixel. <laughs> Flora B. Flora B. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Okay, so like like when you go to the a lot of zoos, right? At, depending on the zoo, where, where you've been, where you're at. Sometimes as, you, as soon as you come in, you hit the gift shop area. You know, they give you all the stuff before you guys start seeing the animal. So this reminds me of that. And look at this. We got the gift shop. And the masks are so great to be used in a gift shop. Oh my gosh, because you know the animals. The animals. And the plushies. And look how she used it. Okay, this is, I like this. I like this take. I gotta learn from ornamental. Look how she's using the dressers, full tables. And this is so true. You see this in stores. Sometimes people, they do have like, it's not just a table, you know? Sometimes it is kind of like a, a furniture piece because they got the extra stock or maybe they got shirts or the extra merchandise inside the drawers. I really like this idea. You know, it's a really good take. Really like this a lot. There are things in the drawers to buy if you want. <laughs> See, <laughs> look at that. Not all, of, not all of them, but some of them. She got the overstock already there. Yeah. See? And we got all the books, you know, every time you go to those gift shops, they got like a bunch of books for the kids and stuff like that. We got the restroom area, very nice done. Look at that, men's and women, really nice. Nice little detail, we always need something like that. And again, we come over here, let's take a look at the centerpiece. I love her centerpieces, they're always being really good. This is another one, really nice, well done. Look at this, look at this. A lot of you guys uh, mentioned that it's, sometimes it's hard to incorporate the big fountain. So here's another idea how how to do the use the big fountain and decorate around it. Really like this, a lot, a lot. And look at this. Okay, and then of course bulletin board. So happy to see the bulletin board included in a build. You guys know 
almost every build should have a bulletin board, in my opinion, because they bring a little extra, bring you that little extra light. And then what is a, a place like this without the cafeteria area where you buy food, you know? And we got today's special fish and chips, cordons and meat on a stick. Oh, we got coffee. Okay, we got, we're, we're good. We're good. We're golden. We got coffee. This is so nice. So well done. Guys, what do you think so far? What, what do you guys think so far of an entrance? This is very different. We see museums. We see amazing mu uh, museums. Sorry. We see amazing zoos in different islands. I've done tours on different islands that have the zoo. I like this is the first one that when you first come in into a zoo, you get hit with the welcome area. I really like this steak. I really like this steak. And as you buy the food, you got the little sitting area, the little courtyard. Like, how nice. Like, it's well thought out. The whole area, the whole build is completely done here. All right. I named, I named it Animal Cracker Cafe. Animal Cracker Cafe. <laughs> I like that. I like this concept so much. I know Fiona, right? All right. And then now we get to the zoo. We get to the zoo area. I want to see how she did this take. Uh, it seems like we're elevated and we're going to be looking down into the animals. I really like this idea. Okay, so we got the glow crocs and then we got the normal crocs. So look at this, guys. Look how beautiful she actually made beautiful terrain for the glow croc. So, so far I see one. Yeah, there's just one. Sometimes there's just one. In the wall. <laughs> Poor guy. He needs more. He needs a friend. I didn't want to like die by putting a second one in there because <laughs> I didn't want to get trapped. <laughs> oh my goodness. But okay, we got the glow croc and then we got normal croc over here. Look at that. It's only one, two. Okay. Oh, well, there was two and I've been too afraid to get my cage back. So it's still there because he keeps like hanging out <laughs> around it. <laughs> He's like, yeah, he just hangs right there. Look at that. He's protecting the cage. It's like my toy. My toy. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Then we got the worry moo, guys. And as you guys can see, look at how nice. Look at that nice sitting area. And I like this take on the zoo because it's more like you're viewing down into the animal area, right? So it keeps it safe. You're elevated. You're looking down. You get to experience what you see. And look at how nice this is. Now, of course, there's the worry moo sleeping right now. We got two eggs over there and we got some turkeys. And well, the vermouth this is natural. sleeping. This was here and I was looking to find a place to put my zoo around one of these guys because these guys scare me and uh, well, they could naturally spawn with their yeah. here. So I, I built it around that. See, I like that. I've heard many people that build zoos, they build around where there's a lot of wildlife already so they can keep the terrain natural. They just kind of fence it in or do stuff like that. So I like that. I like that. And I like that you explained that. That's how you did it. I really like that. Guys, we got the Freely and the Kidna area right over here. Very nice. They need water. They don't have water to yeah, drink. Yeah, I know. I thought about that too. And I they don't have water. Poor guys. They got to wait know. for rain. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a nice biome or each of them. Yes. And that's a great thing, right? Uh, another a great idea that you can really go all out and create a biome before you drop the, the animals too. So you can go all out, you can make a little hill, you can make it flat, you can add little extra decorations. So this idea, this concept, if you guys love this concept, to, that way you can do a little display. You can make it very different than what she has done here. You can go all out, you can plant trees, you can, you can make a whole biome in each square. And I like that. And you can make a lot of different biomes. And everybody that does this idea, everybody's biome is going to look different. So. It's a great concept. I, I really like the concept that you can look down. I feel like you can actually see the animals. You know, some I, I've been on zoo that is ground level. Beautiful as well, right? Because a lot of times we go to zoo, it's ground level. But it's hard to see the animals sometimes depending where they're at and how big the enclosing area is. So this idea that you can see it from the top, I agree with a lot of you, is, is, is I think it's better in many ways because you actually see the animals. Invisible shark. 
the invisible oh, shark guy. I'm trying to tra keep them in here. I've tried to spawn them in here. They just keep disappearing. Yeah, the so. the the sharks don't stay. They they will always despawn. And until maybe one day, otherwise it's my invisible shark. <laughs> and we got the bush devil. There we go. Now this is a beautiful biome. Look at the bush devil. They get special treatment. They got shade. They got the trees. They got rocks. This is really nice. This is really nice. And again, all the seating area, guys, with the little trees, the benches, really well designed. This is a nice museum. And again, she's keeping with everything that she does, right? It's very simple, guys. Look, it's basically square. It's just how she decorates the little detail, the spacing in between the items, you know? Everything feels so organic. Everything feels so natural, like something that you will see in real life, you know? And I like this. I like this thing of ornamental in all her builds is it truly really, we can all do this i love this inspiration today i love this inspiration because i feel like so many of you are going to be willing to want to try a lot of this and look at now 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 we're going back out look at this view now this is designing this is decorating look at how beautiful oh two crocs are back <laughs> The other one came back. Oh, the other one came back. And guys, look at <laughs> look at the lights. If you look at right now, look at what I'm looking. I don't know if you see it, right? But this is what my eye sees. Look at how she designed the lights, right? So the lights standing next to me, if you look at the pattern, and then it goes to one in the center, goes back out, one to center again, back out, and then it finish all the way down the bridge. Isn't that nice? It's it's just the, the details, the details, right? It's such a nice pattern. I really, she could have kept it all straight. She could have kept it all flat, you know, but no, she, she, a little bit, then she went in, back out, went in, and then straight back out. I really love that. It's, that's what my eye caught up real quick, and I'm like, oh my gosh, love that detail. It's just, it's simple, but it gives us something, you know, and I, I, I like this kind of stuff. So creative, so well done. Ornamental, this is so beautiful. This is nice. You've done fantastic. 